All right. Mm -hmm.
Jesus. I'm just I'm having it here so I can be sure of how I sound and everything. Test one, two, three. Okay, 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 okay. Uh. okay so there's like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sixteen second delay. Okay, so there's a sixteen second delay. So, um, by the time I respond to anything, it'll be sixteen seconds after your message is sent. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now I'm just gonna move this over here. And uh, game back up. And shrink it a little. So that it, uh... Okay, no, don't do that. I got it. Since I have my phone there, I can just uh, 
No. Thank you, Dan. Shoot. Okay. No, wait. We'll, ju we'll just try again. We'll just try again. It's okay. It's okay. Close the game. And, uh, open it back up again. Click here. Go back to open it up again. And, uh, wait for it to load a bit. There we go. Cool. 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 Okay. 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 I think that's good. Okay, you can see my mouse. And we begin. I I ha I did play once. I played through Hero one time, and I did, um, let me just go through the tutorial so I can show you guys how this game works. Do I want to keep my, oh, I didn't consider if I wanted to keep my camera on. <laughs> We're going through this for 20 minutes. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the Bad In Theater. It doesn't say the Bad In Theater. It says bad. It just says Bad In Theater. I suck at this. Okay, welcome to Bad End Theater. On this stage, we shall be toying with fate. You will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness a lovely variety of tragic events. This game, I have good feelings about. But first, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you like. You are the human doll, or you are the demon doll. We'll start with the human doll. You control the human doll. You're a friendly little guy just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? Let's play nice. You try to make friends with the demon doll, but it kills you in a cold blood. How ruthless. You found your very first bad ending. But don't worry, the story need not end here. Let's reset the stage and try again. This time, try controlling the other doll. Demon doll? You control the demon doll. You're a fierce looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? Play nice. You and the human doll are able to set aside your differences and become friends. Why, this isn't a bad ending at all. I should have written out this possibility. It's just not suited to my theater whatsoever. That's different. I could have sworn I chose this list. Now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to what you choose during you chose during your last playthrough. But now you can turn each one on or off without having to replay from that doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game! Now, try turning the doll's behavior on and off to see the, to see the different outcomes. Okay, and we'll stand this right here. And now I can see my phone and the screen at the same time perfectly as it should be. Now try turning the doll's behavior on and off to see the different outcomes. Wicked, hostile. So we could be evil or we could be good alone. Let's put them both to evil. You control the demon doll. You're a fierce looking guy just minding your own business. How we interact with the human doll? 
Let's attack it. Wicked. You both attack each other at once and die together. End tutorial. I, I forgot how this works. See, I, it's been a while since I played. I think we're done here. Okay, now we go on to the game where, like I said, I played the hero once. I'll, um, we'll go the hero again so I can choose beautiful. You are the hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. And I'm gonna make sure this is not look right about. Okay. Uh, your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You know, don't know why I went British for a, for a moment. You're told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped, and is likely being held captive at the nearby... For... Demon Overlord's cast. Actually, hold on, I need to stop for a moment. Uh, be right back. Hold on. Sorry, I'll be right back, I promise.
Okay, okay, okay. Back, back, and back, and back. Okay. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. Hopefully I remember to edit all of it. I know. This is being recorded, by the way. For all this life. <sighs> I don't... I'm pretty sure I read this already. But I'll read it again. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby Demon Overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. Neither do I, obviously. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You can kill them to gain experience. Bravely slaughter these evil creatures, or flee like a coward. Well, bravely slaughter them. It's beautiful, and such. Make quick work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front. It's, you are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. Very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. You cut through the army, or ask if they'll let you in. Oh, I don't think they'll let us in if they realize. Oh, and we have a message. I don't, I don't... Thing is, I, uh... I asked, you know, a couple of people play the game, but I don't remember how far they got. Um, so forgive me if... I know some things, but no, don't know other things. I don't know what the end is. And... Apologies. Someone came into my room. Uh, so I do know some things about the game. I don't know the ending itself. Um. But, uh, you know, think, things are things and we're just gonna play it through anyway. Our ending is cliche. I'll decide that for myself. It's probably gonna be bad. Though. I'm not very good at judging things. Um, so we're gonna cut through the demon army in this choice. And we cut through. You gather your courage. This is what must be done in order to rescue the maiden. I'm bad at speaking too, by the way. These are all evil demons anyway. The world is much safer with them gone. That's what you tell yourself, while you kill one after another on your way to the Overlord's Chambers. Chambers? Is that another S? That's another S. Okay. The Overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all her soldiers. 
You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance, a convincing act. You won't be fooled. If the maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can only see one answer. The Overlord definitely captured her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Thinking about the poor, that poor maiden's fate fills you with hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. You become stronger from the hordes of demons you took down before their fi this final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. You cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. You breathe a sigh of relief. But your job is not yet finished. You search the castle. Unfortunately, you find no sign of the maiden within its walls. It's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. The great evil has been banished from this world. What well, does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? Stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return to the Overlord's, Overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cape to bring back to the village. Surely, your great victory will be on... Uh, celebrated. Failed hero end. Well, isn't that just garbage? <laughs> uh, that's... I think that's the same one I got last one, right? Uh, reset the stage. Yeah. One end. Okay, so now... Let's uh, let's go the hero again. And this time, okay, you are the hero. You like to think yourself a pretty reliable and swell guy. Life has been rather ordinary aside from the occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. Your total maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby Demon Overlord's castle. Uh, sorry, things real quick. Who even puts a village next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't quite get it. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play their role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden, but demon soldiers block your path. You would kill them to gain experience. Let's flee like a coward. Forgetting you pride, you escape with your life. But you can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. Ah oh, yes, reputation is so important. I wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. You'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. After a long trip, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Ask if they'll let you in. You go out to the nearest team and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. But they seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chamber. That was so easy. That was easy. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the Maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Was she really ever here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord says that she wishes she could help you, but you're the first demon that, that's come here in forever. At least that she knows of. You think of how you probably shouldn't trust her, seeing as she's a demon and all. But you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. Useless hero and well that gave me an achievement. Reset the stage. Okay, so dutiful and diplomatic. That's it for now. That's all, we can, that's all we can really do. So let's try. Maiden. I like these colors. Uh, you are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You, you are told that you are fated to be captured by the Overlord one day, because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon Overlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity. Who knows? You are in church. You pray to your god. 
asking why you have been born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what point of it is. You are, uh, impatient. I just, re I just realized I had a pillow on my feet because. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, okay. I'm comfortable. Let's see. Hello, let me see, because it's not very comfortable in this chair. Okay, okay, back to this. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture forth to find a demon, just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. Shout for our hero to come save you. Introduce yourself. Let's introduce yourself. You tell the demon your name and explain that you are a maiden from the village. The demon suddenly jumps you and starts fighting. A lot. How painful. This plan of yours was completely stupid, you think. Why couldn't you have been more patient? Why did you go looking for trouble? You weren't angry or anything, of course. This war this was all your fault for trusting a demon not to devour you on sight. This is your punishment for crush for questioning fate, you guess. Bit by bit you are swallowed by the demon until you are no more. Consumed maiden and Aww. That's a... Reset the stage. Okay, so that was polite. Let's... Go... Actually... Let's turn that off. Actually, let's go back here. This time... We'll skip through this. We've already read this a few times, actually. So, we'll go to here, and we'll... Slay them again. A quick work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Let's ask them this time. You attempt to explain why you've come, but the monsters before you is eyeing you with suspicion. They can't help but notice the demon blood from earlier you haven't had the chance to wash off yet. Whoops. You have no choice but to fight the army in self-defense. Oh well, more experience points for you. You make your way through the castle, fending off all the demons that stand in your way. The overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all her soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance, a convincing act, but you won't be fooled. The maiden is here, then what happened to her? You can only see one answer. The overlord definitely cares for her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Thinking about the poor maiden's fate fills you with the hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. You become strong from the hordes of demons you got you took down before your before this final battle. The Overlord is almost a match for you. You cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. You breathe a sigh of relief. But your job is not yet finished. Trips the castle. Unfortunately, you find no sign of the maiden within its walls. It's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. A great evil has been banished from this world. But what does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? Stand alone, amidst the carnage, and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return to the Overlord's domains and wrap her head in your fate to bring back to the village. Surely your great victory will be celebrated. Failed hero. Okay, so that's the same one as earlier. You said. Okay, so Maiden... Go back to Maiden again. You're a Maiden. Uh, skip, skip, skip. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Uh, no, actually, let's skip a bit more. And here. Let's shout for a hero to come save you. You yell, but a hero does not come. The demon suddenly jumps you and starts biting a lot. How painful. This plan of yours was completely stupid. You think, why couldn't you have been more patient? Why'd you go looking for trouble? You aren't angry or anything. 
course, this was all your fault for trusting a demon not to devour you on sight. This is your punishment for crushing fate, you guess. Bit by bit, you are swallowed by the demon until you are no more. That seems fair. And that gives me the same ending. Okay, so... Let's do under me. You are Dean Underling, in service of the Overboard. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak, either. That's what your friends tell you, anyway. Aw, they're so nice. So cool. So kind. <laughs> uh, your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. Uh, human heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord, ready. Anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place, staring into nothingness. Sounds like me on a Friday night. <laughs> I don't have much to do. You feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. That was the stupidest joke I've ever had. One I said earlier. She gives you an earful about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. What does she know about anything? You made her who made her the boss of everyone complain about the overlord to your friends. They agree that she is kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off her throne. You only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow turned into an assassination plot. You should probably steer this in a responsible direction. Uh, actually, let's overthrow her! No, you're sick of the, this overlord holding you and your friends back. You agree that it's time for a change of management. Your friends suggest maybe you should be the new overlord. You like the sound of that. You announce your first act of rebellion is to take, the day, uh, take that day off like you wanted. Your friends aren't very impressed. You assure them you'll talk more about the assassination thing when you get back. Which satisfies them. You sneak out the castle to have some fun. A change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She seems very frightened and screams for a hero to come save her. You consider your options. Wobble her up, or tell her to quit yelling. Let's... <clears throat> Maidens aren't the best meal, but you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. You start devouring the maiden without so much as a second thought, and feel quite proud of that. Other humans would surely praise you with curses and shouts if they were around to see. Oh man, if only someone could have been watching. Time to find an audience for your evil deeds. You wander into the nearby village. People are scrambling or running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. You think that's pretty rude of them? You haven't even done anything yet. Let's put on a show. <laughs> you attack the nearest human. He's old and weak, and his bones crunch delightfully. Your audience screams grew louder. Applause! You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have faken revenge like this a lot sooner. Oh, wait. That's just taken. Oh my god, my reading is horrible. As you continue your bloodthirsty dance, striking the villagers down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running towards you. Well, that sucks. He takes you out and wants to flow. You're just a demon underling after all. As you are, you think, that was totally worth it. The curtain closes. Her former underling ended. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Okay, let's try the Overlord. You are the Overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. 
It's a pretty cushy life, you think. Except for those pesky humans. Stay off my lawn, humans, who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called Hero, whose whole purpose in life is just to the throne you. What's their deal, anyway? You've actually avoided pissing off the humans in the hopes that they'll leave you alone. As well as your army. They, they're pretty important. But they never do. You're still new to the whole overlord thing, if you're being quite honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their rules. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all this time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this underling? Let's... Let's grant them the day off. You tell them to go take a break from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to take a nap to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. You awake to a huge commotion outside. A hero has shown up and started totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out into the battlefield to confront this jerkwad. Curse at him and very rudely inquire his reasons for doing all of this. The hero yells at you, demanding you return the man in your holding capture. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero, but he has grown strong from cutting down your army. You're una you are unable to defeat him. The decisive swings, he stabs you and cuts you to pieces. You fall. You have failed your subjects. You speak curses weakly. You wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be the overlord in the first place. The truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. It was the title, the control that gave you shame. These are your thoughts as you are swallowed by darkness. Conquered overlord ending. End. Oh, gee, we lost. Conquered overlord. Okay. This time, let's be a tyrant. Let's go skip these. Or not. We, I, I'm not gonna wait. Oh, wait, shoot. Did I? No, 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 no. Go back, go back. Tell him to get back to work. You give them a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning them. Your servants ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Venturing too far in the castle tends to spell death. Dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All that luxury made you want to take a nap. You fell asleep pretty quick. That's another one of your amazing talents as the overlord. You wake to a huge commotion outside. Hero has shown up and started totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out into the battlefield, confront this jerk one. Curse him and very rudely inquire his reasons for doing all this. The hero yells at you, demanding you return the maiden you're holding captured. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forget his actions. You battle with the hero, but he has grown strong, cutting down your army. You are unable to defeat him. With decisive swings, he stabs and cuts you to pieces. You fail. You fall. You failed your subjects. Spit curses with me, and you wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be the overlord in the first place. The truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. This is the title. Control the cage. These are your thoughts as you're swallowed. Swallowed by darkness. Okay, overlord. Man. Okay. So, that's what we can do from here. Let's try. Making you polite, you diplomatic, and 
you're not going to be hungry. Uh, we'll go from here. You're the overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. Those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called hero. His whole purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal anyway? You've actually avoided pissing off the humans in hopes to leave you and your army alone. But they never do. You're still new to the whole overlord thing if you're being quite honest. You don't really understand the politics of it. Do you remind yourself? Everyone is just doing their best to, yeah, to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they want. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. So awesome. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time. Especially since no one ever comes here every anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this underling? Let's... Let's, um... Grant them the day off. Tell them to go take a break from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh the dark soul. The day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scare off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. Yeah. You wake to a knock on your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. Company. Oh! It's a maiden from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impending capture. So she's come here to speed things along. You appreci appreciate her honesty. But we get to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems uh very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I become more maiden like? You don't really understand the question. You think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. Maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. It's confusing to her, clearly. She insists that she stay and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. You wonder what to say. <laughs> you can be antisocial or let her stay for a while. Tell her she'd better go home, or let her stay for a while. Okay, let's... Tell her she'd better go home, I gotta wrap this up a bit. Uh, you'd love to have all the conversations in the world with your new friend, but having a human girl here will definitely cause trouble. You put on your mean face and tell her to get lost. The maiden turns out to be very stubborn. You don't want to hurt her, but you also really want her to leave in case something bad happens. This whole situation is just asking for trouble, you think. Gets you better judgment. You let her hang out for a little while longer. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what the what she expected them to be. We are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kind of things. We also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans, as not to agitate them and get heroes sent after you. That explains why the people in my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear her thank you. You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time, and that you were actually super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. I can't tell if she's into you or not. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. <laughs> why is that the... <laughs> okay. Okay, this can slide. I'm sure if you're like, oh, okay, this person, she wants to stay here for a bit. 
<laughs> He's probably it to me. <laughs> okay. You're interrupted by another human in your doorway. This time it's a hero. He was apparently searching for the maiden, who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return to the village with him. Confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You are surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Ah, uh, if we keep her here, that will lead to our death, and that would be pretty possessive. We'll let them go. It's certain that she'll return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust them that you decide. Hero and man gone. You plump down into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels too empty now. It's loneliness? I hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. Until your door slams shut. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed in flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. Every trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from if this one's burnt? This one burns. Don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you. This is no accident. Those are great bastards. You choke on the dick thick. On the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Burned Overlord Hen. Dang it. Then I'll see myself in hell for missing out the words. Okay, uh. Antisocial. Okay, let's let's do this again, but from the underling. No, wait, back actually. Okay, never mind. Keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord. Anyway, it's a lot of standing by staring into nothing. I feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. She's surprisingly cool with it. Nice. You set out on your adventure outside the castle. A change of atmosphere excites you. Spend some time rolling around the grass, wild and free. Make your way along the path to the nearby human village to encounter a maiden. She greets you and says she has a favor at us. You consider your options. Let's hear her out. You're in a good mood today, and are rather curious about what the maiden has to say. Humans don't usually talk to you, so this is kind of exciting. You haven't, you haven't guessed it would be even be possible to understand each other before now. The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny there she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. They seem to be getting along and just sign. They decide it's about time for a nap. You don't get to sleep at all. Your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what the deal is. They say they're planning a whole revolution. They're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out. Being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with, That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Friends question your loyalty to their cause. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so they're gonna kill us if we say she's actually not so bad, you guys. Like, she she is a bit, um... I'm tired, so she's a bit too much. But, like, she let me have the day off. When I asked. Nicely, indeed. Um, but... You know, I don't really think we have to kill her, per se. <laughs> um... Okay, fine. Okay, I don't want to die. Okay, this is gonna go bad. 
Your friends seem pretty disappointed. They apologize to you. But before you can ask what they're sorry about, one of them suddenly seizes you. Oh no. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord? Well, he has no place in our castle. You understand, right? The claws tighten around your neck. Oh boy. You don't bother to struggle. You're outnumbered. And I already know how things like this end. This is a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. They slit your throat in response. Yikes. Faithful underling ending. Okay, let's um, go through again. You are a demon underling in the service of the Overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. Heroes rarely come all the way out, all the way here to challenge the Overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place staring into nothing. You feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. Decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. She's surprisingly cool with it. Nice. You sit out on your adventure outside the castle. The, cha the change of atmosphere excites you. You spend time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She greets you and says she has a favor for that. You consider your options. This time, we'll also be her. You're in a good mood today. I'm rather curious about what the maiden has to say. Humans don't usually talk to you, so this is kind of exciting. You didn't guess it would even be possible to understand each other before now. The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she is trying to fulfill. The bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. They seem to be getting along just fine, so you decide it's about time for a nap. And then... You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Kind of rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what their deal is. They say they're planning a whole revolution. They're getting rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in and out. And being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with, That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to the cause. Ah, okay. You know what? How about we do? Okay. Let's kill the overlord. Kind of good for you. Good, kind of stupid. You tell them you were just joking, and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it, it'd be to end up on the wrong side of things. If this assassination deal doesn't pan out, you'd always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of faux confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea how they want to go about this. They figure they just lock her in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan. That could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of directionist thugs. Useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. They'd probably be casualties if you fought. They'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on. And while showy deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it's probably the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. They take off into the castle. Are they headed to the Overlord's room? Fuck. The Overlord will kill you for sure if she found out you were conspiring to take her out. You dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the Maiden's already frantically telling the Overlord everything. Shout that the humans are liars. The Rants soon arrive to back you up. Except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. Oh, they cry that it was all your idea. And that they were just going with the flow. Too scared to refuse your crazy plan. Can't believe they tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. You always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. Y'all shout at each other until the, over until the Overlord demands silence. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place. Crushed beneath my heel. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. 
You heard your traitor's friends muttering something about going back to planning, and suddenly the door slammed shut. You're trapped in, in here with the Overlord and the two humans. And then the room bursts into flames. You pound on the door, scream and curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you, vowing to stay, slay the lot of them. You wish you'd get that chance. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You're forced into this mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you sided with her. But the Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. Oh. Traitor underling. E. That's, uh... You set the stage. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Uh, except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called Hero, whose whole purpose is in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal, anyway? You've actually avoided pissing off all the, off the humans in hopes they'll leave you and your army alone. They never do. You're still new to the whole overlord thing, if you're being quite honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. And you won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they would expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature for holding yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time. Especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this underling? Let's grab them the day off. You tell them to go take a break from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. Day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. None of your business. You're not walking with them. You have nothing to better do today, so you decided to nap for a little while. For being the Overlord sure is great. You awake to a knock on your door. You have the from earlier brought back some company. It's a maiden from a nearby human village. It says her role is to be captured by you. The man then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impending capture. So she's come here to speed things along. You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform me you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Perhaps I'm not performing my role just well enough. How can I become more maiden like? You don't really understand the question. You think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. The maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stays and talks to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without... <laughs> you wonder what to say. Let's look at You can't bring yourself to send this video away. She just got here. Enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. It's nice. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You're glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kind of things. You also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans, as not to agitate them and get heroes sent out after you. That explains why the people in my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? You are very grateful. It's surprised to hear her thank you. You always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed. That's why your efforts to leave them alone. <laughs> but this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time, and that you were actually super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. People in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. Can't tell if she's into you or not. Still makes me laugh a bit. You're interrupted by another human in your doorway. This time, it's a hero. Who's apparently searching for the maiden who was rumored to have been captured by her kind. Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the Overlord. Didn't anyone read the low I left behind? After everything ex is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The man apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return to the village with him. 
confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take the maiden away from you. Possessive, keep her here. The maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. Tell her the you tell the hero you won't let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. The hero is cautious now. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before you can steal your maiden away. She's frightened. You don't understand why. And she say she prefers this place to her village. Now she doesn't have to leave. Take a step toward the maiden, and she backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. Something sharp pierces your back. The hero? No. He's already... It's one of your underlings. The maiden screams. Your servant tackles you, tearing you apart with their claws. You struggle to retaliate. They've done too much damage. You can barely move now. Blood is everywhere. I can't believe this has happened to you. Why has this happened to you? You've been slain by your own underling. The trade overlord, NB. Okay. okay. Let's let that play out, and we'll go polite with... You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You are told that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day, because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone. But maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity. Who knows? You are in church. You pray to your god, asking why you have been born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. Meaning a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn cool. And exciting. And cool! Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were just to hurt were to just hurry up and get captured already, I don't know, something like that. You leave a no adventure forth to find a demon, just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. Looks pretty scary. Well, introduce yourselves. Did you tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village? Tell them that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't seem to have really been listening to you, which is a little irritating. They agree to take you to their master, nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the Overlord. Explain why you've come, and she squints at you. Turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens, or to do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying. That if is really close to itself. But it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. I've always been told the demons would one day seek you out, and something awful would happen. Then a hero would come to your rescue. No one's believed you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden like enough. Ask the Overlord what you should do to be more made to be a more suitable maiden. But she doesn't quite seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. The Overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk to her more. The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you, and little by little you realize that they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. As it turns out, she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages. How kind of her. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero after them. And yet, still a few demons have been murdered here and there. You realize that must be why you've never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you can thank her by telling the humans to stop ra raising heroes. She sighed over servants getting killed off by them. The boys thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same of humans. Very different, but... Really, they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you now. You think this place is far more interesting than the way things are back home. You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you've always cut to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. Mm. As you think that, a hero enters the room. 
He was surprised to see him at first until he realized he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asked what you what's going on. He explained the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. Whoops. The hero expresses a release that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. He apologized for causing trouble, but really, didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. Here, the hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. But the overlord objects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. She feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. If you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You've leave me no choice. The overlord suddenly jumps the hero. She tears into him with her claws. If you want to cry out, the screen catches in your throat. You watch, because you can't look away. Has she really been lying to you all along, I wonder? Is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? The overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Like a idiot in a horror movie. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. The overlord stops, or rather, someone has stopped you. Whatever held back your screen before doesn't stop you this time. The overlord is being ripped to shreds by one of her demon underlings. You think you recognize them, but it's hard to tell with all the blood. Everyone stop moving now. The room is silent, save for the underlings heavy breathing. You think of the fun, even though it's off. You feel you've res been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you, confused for a moment, but then puff out their chests. You should probably go home. This place is dangerous. You follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. You decide never leave home again for the rest of your life. Escape made and end in B. End B. Woof. Okay, uh... Not quite what I expected. I think... You know what? We are... We are indeed done for today. This is where we will stop. Where I will stop. No one has really been here except for that one person earlier. Um, so I'll just end it here. Where... Okay, so that is going to be it for today. Or tonight? I don't know. It's about to be 1 a.m. So I'll be stopping here. And she will end. So that is it. I could have sworn I had another scene here. I think. It import like actually let's see. Uh never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, so that is it for today. The stream will be ending in a couple minutes, and I'll be going to bed. It is night. I should have been asleep a couple hours ago, maybe an hour ago, but that will be it.
just couple chatting for a bit, I'll, like check a couple things to make sure everything has been working out properly. This was fun. I haven't properly done anything like this in a while. And as expected, only one or two people show up uh, at a time, but you know, so something, something. <laughs> That's somewhere. So that'll be it for today. And first, we will end the recording. So peace out, my friendly people on YouTube. By the way, if you want to, for those on stream, if you want to check for the YouTube, it is in my, um, it's in the about thing for my right Twitch user thing. Yeah. So if you want to see that, it's in that section, the about. And for those on YouTube who want to see me play live on Twitch, it the link for my Twitch is in my about me, and that's how you get here. So peace out to those on YouTube. <laughs>